All right, welcome everybody to the 2024 Dodgeball Canada National Championships here live from Richmond, British Columbia. I'm Austin Coombs. I'm here joined next to me by my good friend Cam Booth. How are you doing today, Cam? I'm doing great. It's been a lot of good dodgeball, and we got a couple more matches to go. We are into semi-final action here in the men's division. This is a massive game. On one side, multiple-time medalist, new era, hailing from Manitoba, and on the other side, the Maverick Dodgeball Club from Ontario, another multiple-time medalist. Team Canada talent throughout both squads, lots of high-level play here. Yeah, this should definitely be one of the exciting matches of the tournament. Um, I'm looking forward to it, to see how these teams uh, to match up against each other. New Era coming in as the one seed. Mavericks is the four seed. Mavericks with early speed. New Era is able to avoid or survive through that rush. Coming to the ball line with four balls in hand. They put two on Snow and he's eliminated. That's a big hit off the bat. Chartier, DePasquier, both putting heavy amounts of pressure on the Mav side. Ranchan, better known for his catching, but takes out a shot on Grenier and is taken out with the return fire from the New Era side. New Era plus one body here. Mergler unleashes high and is taken out on the return throw from DePasquier. These teams are going to go back and forth all match. Mavs again to the line. Cautiously, knowing those throws are going to come back at them. New Era comfortable to sit on their three ball play here. They've got two bodies in hand. Kova takes the throw, cross, misses. The ball looks like it will return back to the New Era side, giving them burden once again. Unfortunately, Tate not quite able to jump over that one. Toes just dangling a little bit underneath him. Just a bit. Oh, return fire both sides. Kopit happy with that trade as Lazic's taken out after taking Kopit off the field. That just leaves Team Canada stalwart Garcia Silvera. Pasqui takes the early shot on him. All six balls on the Maverick side right now. Lines up Chartier. Lines up to Pasqui, takes out to Pasqui. Chartier able to use that blocking ball to get behind it. Garcia Silvera retreats to the back line. Three balls in hand. New Era up to the line with three balls. Unable to find their target. New End able to dodge both balls. Great block by Maddie there. This is not an easy man to hit that New Era has left for the end. He's very comfortable in these situations. There's no one else I think the Mavs will on the court with, uh, besides Maddie right now. That finds a left hand there. Chartier takes him out down the line. New Era one, Mavs zero early in our first set here. That was great work by New Era. They never let them have a chance to get any bodies, any ball count. They were on top of them almost the whole match. These are also two teams that are very familiar with each other. If I'm not mistaken, this was our national semifinal last year. Correct. No, no this, this was our gold medal match last year. Yes, this was the gold medal. It was two years ago was the semi. These teams match up in the medal rounds quite often. Manchin unable to squeeze that. Nice shot from Grenier down the line on Mergler. There's some questions going Mavs on. looking for a second hit on there. Garcia Silvera very animated here. Definitely believing that there were multiple hits. Refs coming together. Stopping the clock. Let's figure out what's going Ken, on. This is to be expected. These two teams have put so many hours into this. They both epitomize what it means to be a high level athlete in the dodgeball community. After all said and done, New Era is going to have five bodies on the court. 
Mavs will have three, but they will have Burden with four balls in hand. Tate a little high, Dupasque a little wide. Khan is able to Was that a catch? That looked like a catch possibly off of Garcia Silvera's foot. Refs are going to come together to confer. Very experienced refing squad here. All of these refs, multiple national final refing experience. That catch was called. Ball bounced up off Garcia Silvera's foot into the hands of another Mavs player. Making this now a four on four, Mavs with burden. Survived, Pasque sends that ball high into the netting. Garcia Silvera takes a shot at Ferris just wide over top of his head. Catches could be a huge part of this game. Turn the momentum, snow up. Just catches a piece of it. And New Era feeling very accurate early on in this match. Pass way up top. Razziux. Balls are flying back and forth. Garcia Silvera takes out Copet. Tate also taken out on the Mavs side. Pasquay also removed from New Era. This is going to take us to a two on two. Grenier and Ferris, Garcia Silvera and Laziak. Garcia Silvera takes out Grenier with a good curve ball. Ferris able to dodge his two ball plays from the Mavs side. One ball left on the Mavs side. Ferris is coming forward. Ferris with a big curve ball, the big grunt that he's well known for. Goes for the fastball riser, misses high. Mav now with three balls, burden will be on them. Garcia Silvera and Laziak make a plan, approach the line. Ferris able to survive. Garcia Silvera putting a ton of pressure on Ferris. Underneath that ball. And yeah, this is the second round in a row, Garcia Silvera has lasted towards the end. Yeah, he's, we said it, he's a hard guy to hit. Unfortunately, Ferris not able to get a block off there. Laziak applauds him for the sportsmanship of taking that. And that's going to make it a one-to-one -one game with about 14 minutes left in the first half. Both sides getting on the scoreboard very early on. Exactly what we were anticipating. It's what we want to see. We want to see tight, clean, fun, energetic dodgeball matches. And that's what we're going to get. I think it's going to continue into this one. can hear the crowd getting really into it. Looks like Richard Tom Singh has checked in, to, in for the Mavericks. No changes on the New Era side. They approach the line. Snow taken out again early. Seems to be the priority target here for New Era. They don't want the ambi ambidextrous man throwing right and left hand hooks at them. Garcia Silvera also removed there. Not sure if that was a line violation or if he was hit. New Era approaches the line. Oh, Ranchan. Oh, with the catch. That uh, man, you do not throw solo <laughs> at 36. He will catch your ball. Okay, another trade here. New Era tried to take one early, but Mavs counters that immediately. Up 5-4. Shot on a Grenier by Snow. Connects. This is why they wanted Snow out early, but unfortunately, the catch brought him back in. Toe shot on Arana can. While there is a burden in dodgeball, neither of these teams seem to be following it very well. No. Mergler finds DJ's toes there. Nguyen, unfortunately, just wide of Mergler there, gets the blocking ball all the way down to the ground. Snow, Laziak, Mergler. Classic with a great block there from a Chartier ball. Mavs approach the line. Mergler a little wide on the win. Chartier takes that cross court shot. Mergler gets the leg out of the way. New Era is not afraid to take those backline throws. These are some of the best arms in Canada on display on both teams. 
Doesn't matter if it's a nine meter throw, an 18 meter throw, it's all the same to these athletes. Mavs approach the line, a lot of pump fakes. Laziak is able to. Oh. Question here. Question, yeah, the throw by Lazy uh, stuck in uh, Chartier's legs, but I don't know if it calling bounce or a catch. This is gonna be a very close call. Chartier is well known as a great catcher, and not only just with his hands, his legs, one-handed, his highlights are something <laughs> to watch. I remember, I think my second ever dodgeball game, he was a teammate of mine, and he caught two balls within half a second of each other. And I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool sport. Yeah. Apparently his ankles can do it too. Yeah. <laughs> Ref's just deliberating here on uh, on what the call's gonna be. Again, we're all eagerly awaiting the outcome. Tough, tough sport to ref as well. A lot of fast moving action here. We wanna make sure that we get the right calls. They're gonna call They're catch gonna call is catch in fact it. good. It's gonna happen here. Zlazic's gonna be removed. Chartier's gonna stay alive. And Nuera's gonna get Kofit back on the field, making this now a 3v2 in favor of Nuera. Or sorry, a 3v3. Mergler, Thompson, Snow on the map side. Chartier, Kofit, Nguyen on the New Era side. And Burden is on New Era. Kofit takes that throw high over Snow. Mavs come up with a play, approach the line. Thompson wide on Chartier. Just Nguyen missed. punishes immediately on that counter. When beat Snow's block, meaning we have three new era players up against Jason Mergler, who is hit on the early throw by Colin Chartier. New era not even giving Mavs a chance to approach that line. No, no again, they they trust their arms and they're they're making them pay if they're not uh, not 100% paying attention. And that that point swung by that ankle catch by call in there. That's where it's going to be, it's catches. I think catches are going to be the big story of this game is who can capture momentum through them. Both these teams have incredible amount of arm power. Hits will be flying back and forth. Catches, Mavs first catches win matches. I'm excited to see this next round. This, this could be a big one here. Snow taken out again early by Kopit. I think he's been the first one off every single round. Grenier looking cross court on Ranchan. Ranachan. Hard name to pronounce. Mavs cautiously approaches the line. A lot of pressure from the New Era side. Garcia Silvera takes Sean Copet. Chartier returns fire. Smiles between both these teams. And we got a shoelace. Again, safety first. Want to make sure all these athletes are able to perform at their highest level. Last thing we need to see is someone go down because their shoes are untied. We've been there. This is true. Yes, it yes we have. New era. Both teams reset. Mavs with burden. Four balls in hand. Lazic takes the shot. Pascal pumping down, taking out Mergler. Colin take Chartier takes out the shot on Tom Singh. Again, New Era's counter game being the story early on in this first half. Five balls for Mavs. They take three shots, none of them connect. New Era content to sit on that back line with four balls in hand, use ball control, push the line. Ball bounces into Franchan. Leaving four balls on the Mavs side. Again, tons of pressure from New Era right now. Ranchan, oh, Laziak pun. Ranchan takes an early shot. Pasquier punishes. Laziak punishes Pasquier, and that leaves just Garcia Silvera once again against four New Era athletes. Garcia Silvera jumps out of the way once again. Takes one shot. Takes two shots. Takes the toe shot. Those dang toes. They just <laughs> will not stay up high enough. Kovic just able to get the ball in front of Chartier there. Four balls in hand of New Era. They approach the line. They're able to. Nope. nope. Bounces in. Bounce. See ref Justin Perninski calling a bounce. 
Grenier takes that shot and is able to beat Garcia Silvera's block. Three for New Era, one for the Mavericks. And we see timeout being called by Coach Vic Gravilli, head coach of the Mavericks, head coach of Team Canada men's cloth. Cam, what do you think early on in this game? It's been New Era's like counter game. They're on top of Mavs every time they release a ball. They're not afraid to play on defense. They're trusting. They're trusting their. They're trusting the back line defense. They're getting out of the way of the ball and they're countering on them hard. And then once they get ball possession, then they're just making Mavericks pay on the back line. New Era's controlling the pace of the game right now, and it's not the Mavs' style to let other teams dictate their pace. So I think I think Coach Vic is going to kind of try to light a fire under these guys and get them to play play Maverick dodgeball. And uh, New Era's going to keep doing what they're doing, and we're going to see who makes the adjustment faster. Big thing I'm seeing is New Era seems to be targeting Snow early, Garcia Silvera last, and it's working. Yes. We'll see what Vic has in his pocket to change that. Definitely a man of many strategies. Mavs quick to the balls early here. Good early pressure, not letting Nguyen get that ball back. Snow rips a ball through Kovic's chest. That is probably why they want him out early. Yes, Snow I could hear that through the headphones. Murgler takes that shot from the middle, takes out Chartier. And again, whatever Coach Vic said, it seems to be working at least early for the Mavs. Granier takes out Laziak, dodges the shot from Tom Singh, who's filled in now on that right wing position, moving Murgler towards the middle. Oh, what a big snag. catch. They're calling no line violation here on Garcia Severo, able to keep those shoulders up with that snag. That's a big game changer. Six on the side of Mavs, two on New Era. Oh, goes for the catch, just misses it. This just leaves Ferris against six Mavs. 6.55 to go in the first half. Garcia Severo wants that catch. He wants this point done quick. Jordan again, not afraid to come off that back line and take his take his big throws from there. Mavs push the line with three. Snow, Snow with the clip on the left shoulder. Again, I think we're starting to see why New Era is prioritizing taking out Snow. He was allowed to survive that round, punished New Era mightily. Snow is one strong, strong man. Yes. Again, we can see where the strategies are going, and it's it's just a matter of who's is going to prevail in this this 40-minute match. Mavs again, quick to the ball. New Era content just to sit back on the rush. Manchan misses high over to Pasquier, giving New Era four balls and the burden. Two balls on Snow again, primary target here, but he's able to dodge and survive. Let's see if the Mavericks can punish them for that. Again, Charte takes an early with that much priority target. Mergler and okay. Garcia Silvera taken out by that throw. Pasquier punished for taking it. And see some discussion here between Garcia Silvera and Mergler on the sidelines as Ranchan and Laziak throw two balls at the new era side. Three on three now. Nguyen, Ferris, Grenier to the line. Ranch has an early. Grenier punishes Blasiak for the reach. Newer again, four balls in hand. Player advantage. Ranch has an early. Grenier punishes Ranch. And Tom Singh reaches outside his body. That's going to be a point for the New Era side. We've got 4 2 with just under five minutes to go in the first half. And Mavs had that momentum for two seconds and New Era took it back away. It's always good to see that point after a timeout when your coach calls it, but now it's on it's on Mavs to again, keep that pressure up. They're winning this rush to the ball every single time. See if they're able to capitalize it. No one there for the pitch. New Era, three balls in hand, come to the line. Dupasquier finds nice. Snow's right shoulder as he's not quite able to dip under it. Mergler, Ranchan, Tom Singh. Ranchan oh. takes a ball and grabs the second one. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> and this man is half the time throwing to bait a catch. It's going to bring Snow back into the game. 
Immediately a throw from Garcia Silvera takes out Grenier. Pasquier tries to return, fire and is immediately countered. Four balls on the Mav side, now they come forward. Big shot by Snow onto DJ. Again, when Snow is surviving, Mavs is finding success. It's as simple as that. There's Thompson is out, Snow is out. Suddenly, New Era has closed that gap to a three to four player advantage. Pope it high and hard. That's one way to take out Rancha. Do not throw in his body. No. Nope. Maybe aim for the face instead. <laughs> Mergler, Garcia Silvera, Laziak to the line. Mergler, hard shot on Ferris. Kovic tries to return fire through Garcia Severa and Mergler, but misses high. Mavs will retain the burden here. Step to the line. Ranchan wide of Kovic. Ferris with a really good shot on Laziak, but he's able to get his ball in front of it. And Mavs under. slowing it down here and setting something up. Oh, Mergler on Kovic. Kovic did not see that until the last second. Garcia Silvera oh. takes out Nguyen. Caught him napping there. Mavs with the two player advantage now. Two and a half minutes left, just over in the first half. Laziak on Ferris. Great block there by Ferris, keeps the ball up. Kobe returns fire, finds no one. Garcia Severa, Laziak, and Mergler once again to the line. Garcia Severa down. Kobe with the ball. Oh, Garcia Silvera. <laughs> <laughs> he almost goes for that tombstone catch and just gets out of the way of it. Great throw from Laziak. Ferris. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Holy. He just grabbed two balls out of nowhere. What a snag. New era to the line. And they immediately oh, take out the last two remaining Mavericks. Talk about a swing in momentum. Again, we talked about earlier, catches could be a big storyline of this game. And Ferris says, hello, how do you do? And takes two balls out of the air. That man has the record for the most catches in the, Winnipeg, the Dodgeball Winnipeg Draft League in a season, and you see there why. See how Mavs can bounce oh. back. Well, we have a false start here on the New Era side. That is their first of the half, meaning we will reset and set the rush again. Again, I want to see how Mavericks is able to bounce back here. That is a big game changer. They thought they had that set in hand. Now they're down three. Thompson quick to the line. Mavs choose to hold. Kofi comes out again, right on Snow. Snow returns fire. Granier cross court high. Mavs four balls in hand here. Laziak high. Mergler takes an extra one. Punished by Dupasque. Dupasque is hit, and Ferris is able to jump and catch the ball. The ball seemed to just be bouncing in favor of New Era in this first half. That's a hit from Granier cross court onto Snow. Seem to have found a way to hide behind Lavoie. Lavoie, Chardier holding the line. Ranchand with a great throw, and Lavoie has to reach across his body to block it. Early throw from Ranchand. Laziak pops the ball up, unable to get it. Ranchand taking out in the ankles. And surprise, Maddie Silvera is left on the court. Oh, Ferris almost shot. with another snag. The hit does count. Clock has run out. We are moving on to our first half, no block. This will be a really interesting thing for me. Garcia Silvera with how hard he is to hit in a no blocking situation like this, probably plays to his strength. On the new era side, they're gonna take their time out before they go into the uh, no blocking. Um, they get one time out per half, so good choice by them to use it instead of lose it. Yep, yep. But I believe they had four athletes still on the court. They may have three. Um, so they're gonna have three balls in hand. Their preferred style I've seen through this tournament and knowing and seeing them in past things is to do what they call dump. They're just gonna throw all three balls at you. Yeah. That is likely what I would expect, but again, with how hard it is to hit Garcia Silvera here, is that a good strategy? I don't know, because you know how quick he's gonna be coming out of that, and he's again, 
Matty, the amount of years that he's been playing this this style and this high level of dodgeball, I don't know if I would uh, trust giving him six balls and seeing what he could do in a no block. But again, you got some big boys over there on New Era that are looking forward to uh, coming forward and testing either one of our theories at this point. Garcia Silvera had a great chat there with Jason Mergler. Two players that know each other well. Mergler with a lot of experience against this New Era team. One ball, two ball. But ball bounces back. Garcia Silvera is going to have four balls here. He's going to take that shot wide around Grenier. Just misses Chartier on the first ball. He's going to be aggressive here. Push to the line. Settle back in. New Era Takes that shot. Pope is able to find Garcia Silvera on the slide. That is going to make this a 6-2 to two game going into the half in favor of New Era over the Mavericks. It's been an exciting match. It's exactly kind of what we were, uh, what we were looking at. And again, New Era is just capitalizing on those counters. And I think that's been, besides the miraculous two-ball catch at that point, it's... Uh, it's been back and forth and back and forth, and right now New Era's got all the momentum going into the second half, and it's it's going to be up to the Mavericks and, and their lineup that they put out there to kind of, you know what I mean, stop that momentum and, and see see what they can capitalize on. It's still so, 20 minutes. I was going to say, if, you, if you're watching this online, I hope you also check out Court 1 because all we can hear is cheering from, I guess, the end of their first half. Something big's happening over there in the other semifinal between Say an elite dodgeball club and hard as foam from Vancouver, British Columbia. While we are on the half here, I do want to take a second while I am with Mr. Cam Booth here, the president of Dodgeball Canada, say a big thank you to your board, Dodgeball British Columbia, and everyone that's put all of their time and effort into making this probably the best national championship I've ever been at. It's been awesome. The team seemed really, really happy. The venue's incredible. It's been great. I know it's your first uh, yeah. Nationals as president. Yeah, first kick of the can. Um, no, it's been great. The, the team's worked super hard. You know what I mean? Shout out to the entire board. Uh, Mark, Matt, Gia, Shauna, Laura, uh, and Corinne, who have all put time and effort into it, and along with like the entire kind of local committee that's, that's put, again, months of work into this. The facility's amazing. This is a great spot for dodgeball. Um, excited to see the rest of today and again just the, the the sport of dodgeball in Canada has been at a high level and every year it keeps getting better exactly and we've got a lot of big announcements coming later in the day you guys will find out future nationals kind of things a lot of great dodgeball left today we're only just getting started as we prepare for the second half here between new era and Mavs Mavs seem again comfortable, just get the three balls back. And New Era for sure is not running a pitch. They haven't run one all day. I don't think they'll start now. And Snow the target again. Obit is not letting Snow play this game. No. He is informing him his spot is on the bench, and that is where he's going to stay. Four balls from the Mavs side. Ranchan bounces that one into Grenier. Pasque able to kick it back. A little pinball action on the New Era side, but Pasque unleashes one on Merkler. Mavs approach the line with four balls in hand. Laziak to Grenier. He's able to get Tip two points of contact. And out. And out. Important to get that second point of contact to establish the catch. In the meantime, it looks like a few Mavericks players were eliminating, leaving them with three. New Era down to five. Dupasquay unable to get under that ball. Chartier pays back the favor and takes it around again on the toe shot. Okay, I'm giving him a little applause after that one. Two stalwarts of Team Canada on the Mavs side. Jason Mergler, Matty Garcia Silvera left. New Era, Chartier, Ferris, Lavoie, Copit still alive. Two balls in hand for New Era, four for Mavs. Garcia Silvera rips it cross. Lavoie gets underneath that ball. Copit down low. Silvera, Gar Garcia Silvera able to get out of the way. Lurgo takes that shot over top of Ferris's head. Ferris, Copit, Lavoie to the line. One ball from Ferris. Garcia Severa punishes Copit for being at the line while not throwing. That's what Mavs needs to do. They need to slowly whittle down. Cartier unable to take that ball quickly. Garcia Severa frustrated with not having a ball in hand. 
And shagging a big part of this game. It is. Getting that it's ball an, in It is hand. an under thought of point of dodgeball, but it can make or break matches. Big shot by Jason onto Ferris there. He's gonna just leave Chartier alone here. Again, a man with great hands, throwing solo on him, not advisable. Try to take that long shot. And we talked about earlier, a lot of the Team Canada talent. Chartier representing Canada for the first time this year. The pop-up onto his shoulder. Unfortunately, not quite able to keep that ball off his body. That's how Mavs need to start the second half. Yeah, they, need, the they need to get that first point under their belt, get that to a three-point game, and again, build off that momentum. It looks like we have Nick DeCesco checking into the game, the youngster out of Toronto uh, checking in. Uh, young, young talent coming from uh, from Ontario. I'm excited to see how he does on this stage. Is this his first Nationals? First Nationals. Um, yeah, I think he's, I want to say he's 17, maybe wow. 18. It's always good to get new young blood in the sport. We love to see that. Mergler takes that hard shot at Chartier. Able to get those bright yellow shoes just out of the way. Here we approach the line with four. Shot from Popit. Great defensive retreat from the New Era side, right in sync, all knowing where each other are. Mavs, it's Snow with the throw. New End punishes immediately. Grenier takes a shot, Hope it takes a shot. And a reflection from Mergler onto Lazy. Takes out two, the three Mavericks eliminated in that exchange. Again, three Mavs for one New Era. New Era will take that trade all day. It's a big throw from the youngin. That is a cannon of an arm for a young man. Granny across court, Garcia Severa content to sit there, ponder dodgeball for a second. To the line, the Mavs approach. Garcia Severa cross at Dupasque. Immediately, Hope it releases that ball, trying to get Garcia Severa. The X Factor here, Ranchan still in the court, probably the best catcher, maybe in the world. Dupasque able to punish immediately. And the experience paying off again. Dupasque also. First time Team Canada member this year on our men's foam team. There is Team Canada talent throughout both squads. Four balls on Mavs now. They're gonna come forward to looking at five new era players. Garcia Severa on Copet. Oh, big shot from Cam on to Grenier. Grenier. Yeah, Dupasque dipped underneath that ball, but unfortunately Grenier didn't see it until last minute, standing behind him. Oh, oh Cam straight. looking for it. Ranchan takes that shot on Ferris. Dupasque immediately punishing. He's gonna make it three on one against, yet again, Matty Silvera. He sits, sits in his down. famous cross-legged position, keeps those balls ahead. He's been doing that one for years. Garcia Silvera over top of Dupasque, able to bend him down, cope it. Takes him. Legs are still left out there. Seven for New Era. Three from the Mavericks. Again, it feels like every time the Mavericks answer, New Era comes right back to what their bread and butter's been. Again, there's a couple bounces going the New Era way, but again, they're playing strong defense and they're looking for those counters on it. And right now the Mavs don't have an answer. It looks like they've moved Snow more into a middle position. I'm wondering if they're looking to get the target off of his uh, off of his chest. I have a somebody feeling else. New Era is just going to put this first ball right on him. And instead they take around Chan. And this is a New Era squad looking for revenge after last year's final, where they lost to these Mavericks. Oh, Chargier turns fire. And again, this was also a I believe semi-final with different team names, but a lot of the same players in Edmonton at the 2022 National Championships. Granny removed there by the Mavs side. Five on five, New Era. First we're seeing if Dan Holes are on the left wing. Copa takes out Snow. Yeah, this is where good bench depth is important. Yeah, we're seeing both the teams start to utilize that a little bit more in the second half now. New Era takes a shot, gets the ball back. They approach the line again. Chartier over top of a jumping Jason Mergler. Able to get those legs all over the place, but nowhere in front of the ball. Maps the line, Mergler with an early throw on Holzer. Chartier takes one on Laziak. 
Both teams just smile at each other a little bit. Again, these guys know each other oh. really well. Mergler on holes, are able to get the block up. Chartier punished on the right wing for taking a shot. Garcia Silvera is going to be removed from the game. So is Chartier. This makes it a three on three. Copin on Laziak, able to slide but keep himself in bounds. No flag from that back line ref. Mergler, so I'm saying Laziak. Laziak takes that shot on Copin straight down the line. Nguyen, Holzer, and Copit. Ball retriever trying to get the ball in quickly. Raf counting down to four, three. Nguyen approaches the line, takes a shot on the empty player. Mavs creating a plan again, three on three dodgeball here. Laziak, again, Copit seems to be the primary target here. They're content to leave Holzer and Nguyen till the end. Kovic on Laziak. These two are just going back and forth. They're just smiling <laughs> at each other. They just want to play 1v1 dodgeball here. Tom Singh, Mergler, Laziak. Tom Singh takes the shot. Big shot. Finds that team. right Nike blazer of Dan Holzer. They are down an athlete here. New end to the line. Just pops out of Jason's block there. Thought for a second he was going to catch that block. So that wasn't quite sure from this angle. Nguyen gets that ball in front. Tom Singh with a great ah. shot inside out, gets the good movement on the ball. Nguyen are content to be late, deep in the shot clock. Time is their enemy. Mavs need to play this game quick. Nguyen is content to just let it go. Early throw from Copa here, tries to get a ducking down Mergler. We're back to, again, stalemate here. Three Mavs, two New Era, three balls in hand. Unfortunately, Nguyen not able to grab that catch and his beat on the block. Copa being left alone. Three balls on the New Era side, three on the Mavs side. Tom Singh, Laziak, Mergler to the line, balls in hand, finds Shot the left the shirt, shoulder of Copa. Jason Mergler with a rocket there. Here it is, Mavs with an answer. They're down four to seven. Good Every guy. time they seem to have scored, New Era has scored the next point. Ten and a half minutes left. This is this is kind of a make or break set at this point. New Era seeming to go back to their starting lineup. Mavs, Mavs. also back to their starting lineup as Tate did start for them. Looks like we've got Snow taking a breather. So we've got Jason, Spencer, Richard, Mike, Cam, and Maddie on the court for Mavs. Mavs will have Burden here coming off that last point victory. Tate to the line. Garcia Silvera rips one down the line. Copit takes out Garcia Silvera. They are not going to leave him for last. With Snow being out, they needed a new target. Copit again, feeling hot, takes another throw. And Chartier and Dupasque take the balls on defense. They push the line. They're aggressive. Two balls on, or on Chartier. Dupasque takes return fire. Doesn't hit. Leaving New Era with one ball. Mavs with five balls, even player advantage. One ball on Copa takes him out. Two balls on Ferris, both blocked. Ball advantage on the side of New Era. They're going to have four balls here with four athletes approaching the line. It's Ferris unleashes Laziak. The big pretzel dodge. Is that we're going with here? Pretzel. I don't know how they get so <laughs> low. I definitely can't bend my body like that. Low shot from Tom Singh. Granny pushes, takes out Mergler. Just under the nine minute mark here. New Era seven, Mavericks four. Mavericks with the throw, Dupasque gets under. Laziak, looked like he caught him maybe in the face from a Granny counter. There's one man here that's confident from the back line. That is Nick Granny with that cannon of a right shoulder. Steps into another throw. I've been on the wrong end of a Nick Grenier ball to the face. It is not a fun thing. Plaskia gets that ball in front, locks it up and over the netting. New Era again. By the Shager, right? Oh, Shager, right on the line there. Good throw from Ferris, return fire. Finds nothing but the back netting.
Got there. just about eight minutes left in the game. Early throw, takes out Dupuaske, but Grenier is able to set up and take Tate out. Thompson, Thompson pushing the line, getting underneath that Grenier throw. Tom Singh, Grand Chan for the Mavericks. Creating a plan with four balls in hand. Grenier new in, Ferris looking to defend. Grenier just gets that ball up in the block. To the line, Nuer approaches. Early throw from Grand Chan, blocked by new end. They're gonna reset here again. Time is the enemy. They want to get rid of as much time on this game clock as possible. Great Grenier shot. Doesn't see Grand Chan take that early. And this is him. Ranchan, a man known for his catching more so than his throwing, but his arm seems to be a big story this game. This whole tournament, it's it's like coming into it. He was getting uh, tips from the coach that he's got to start utilizing his arm again, and it's it's paying off on all the matches so far. You can see it working. There's two balls on Nguyen, both just barely missing. You can hear timeout being called from the new era bench. They're going to take their timeout and create a plan here. We're looking. At about 6.55 left in the second half. New Era with a three point lead. Uh, Captain Jesse Copet is going to be talking strategy with his team here. The big thing, having known Jesse and coaching with Jesse here, is this is grind time. Yeah. In dodgeball, we play a set amount of time. As much as it is fun to eliminate everybody on the other side, if you can just get rid of time and foam dodgeball, you're going to find success. Yes, and I think that's what Jesse's saying to his team right now, is it's, let's use the time to our advantage, check that down, as the head ref, Dave Armstrong, is staring at us. The game's about to start, sir. Dave, have some great fun out here. You're doing a great job refing. Thank you. I think you can see Dave returning now into your screens. As you get this second half timeout brought back in, that's going to leave uh, Mavs with one timeout, New Era with no more timeouts for the second half or overtime if it is needed. Nuera approaches the line. They put two balls around Chan. You can see him immediately think catch. And that was the plan right there. Tom Singh is aggressive. Nguyen here. And at this point, Nuera can grind some time, but they also want to get this point. This is a massive point for both squads. Mavs really need this one to stay in the game. Nuera, this may put the deficit too big for the Mavs to overcome. Up, Tom goes to the up. catch. It's up. Oh, no. Line violation being signaled from the back official, Mingo. No catch this is what we're Wait. looking at. No catch. That is a point for New Era. That momentum brought Thompson over the line. And we are going to get a new set here with New Era with eight, the Mavericks with four. Every day, Armstrong getting the team in line immediately as Mavs wants to make sure time is on their side. Mavs is going to pick up the pace here, guaranteed. Yes. They only have six minutes left. And quick to the balls. Even though Mavs needs to pick up the pace, no pitch being thrown there. Nuera is going to take this with only two athletes to the line, one with two balls in hand. So they still have protection, immediately get back. Grenier passes that ball off to Duplasquier. Mavs to the line. They are put two balls on. Big shots and on to DJ. Chartier, Dupasque both removed. Mavs up two athletes and with Burden with four balls in hand. They are going to need this one quick. Ball is caught between the legs of <laughs> New End. What a grab. The shoes of this team have made more catches than I did this tournament. <laughs> Ferris to the line, takes a shot. Kovic content to sit with two balls, so he has a ton of defense. Mavs return fire, they approach the line. It's gonna be Snow off Kovic, takes him out. Ball being tossed back over. Seemed like an illegal ball retrieval there. Mavs to the line, Snow again. Takes a shot on Ferris. Ferris, get those nimble feet out of the way. Again. Nuera not wanting to even approach that center line. Comfortable throwing from activation. Nguyen takes the ball on defense. Grenier. Big shot by Mergler onto Grenier. Yeah, he got that ball in front, but wasn't quite far enough in front of him. Able to skip up by. Chargier takes a shot and gets snow. That's a big out. 
for the New Era side. At this point, Mavs needs bodies. They take a cross shot. Mergler takes a follow up. Nguyen is removed from the game by Ryan Chan on that cross. Great honesty there from number 18. You New Era see five. Jesse talking to his sideline or from the sideline, letting him, his teammates know what he's uh, what he's wanting to see from us boys right now. New Era, five balls in hand. They send one. They've got four now. Again, they're going to wait deep in the shot clock. Chartier throws it three. Mavs wants to push this pace. Two balls come from the Mavs side. Ma New Era is able to dodge both. That is great news for them. Referee Dave Armstrong down to two when Ferris re releases that ball. Chartier Ferris talking it over. They step to the activation line. Chartier goes. Immediately, Mergler and Tate push the line. They back up three balls in hand. Approach the line. They need a hit here. They he send all it. three. Chartier becomes a clape. Like his French name. Nice and flat. New Era takes that yeah. shot. Able to take out Ranchan. And again, New Era just content. One ball. One ball at a time. There's less than three minutes left in the game. They do not want to play another round of dodgeball if they can help it. They will continue to play defense and throw balls. They've got four balls in hand. Dave Armstrong down to two on the count. Ferris just wide of Mergler. Just wanting to make sure that there's no chance for a catch at this point. We are in a two or three v two situation. Now still clear lead, but needing to find something. Charte rushes up again. Ball control so important at this point in the game. Five balls in the hand of New Era. Charte takes that shot cross. Coach Vic on the sideline, looking for some extra sparks from his Maverick squad. Two minutes left between New Era in the final and Mavs in the bronze. Mavs unable to find Ferris once again. That's going to give New Era five balls for, I think, the fourth or fifth time this set. The New Era bench getting very animated, enjoying this game. They can taste it. They can taste the gold medal match already. We are close. Oh. Chartier is hit. For a second there, I thought he caught it again because I couldn't see where the ball went. But uh, Ferris, three seconds. Official Dustin, or not, sorry, Dustin. Oh, yeah, Pernitsky. Pernitsky, yes, giving the call. And then Mergler a shot takes on the out Mergler. Ferris. And with Five. one 15 roughly left in the game. It's looking like that is going to be too big of a deficit. Timeout. Or a lineup being called by Dave Armstrong. Pantel entering the game for New Era here. Chris Moises also entering the game as the rush on the far side for New Era. Looks like big changes on the Maverick side. Matty O'Brien. Nathaniel Zanke's checked in. Nick's back in. And then you've got Jeff, Richard, and Matty. Moises able to dodge that ball in his first appearance of this game. Kobin immediately gives Moises the ball so he can take his shot. Or is it going to be? Yes, Moises with the curveball. Mavs creating a plan here. They approach the line. Two balls come out. Pantel's able to jump over both. Ten seconds left in this game. New Era fans getting loud in the stands. Send the ball, and that's the that game. That is the game. New Era from Manitoba is on to the national championship, getting revenge over their national championship loss to the Ontario Mavericks last season. Mavs will move on to the bronze medal game. That was awesome. That was a yeah, really fun game. A lot of heavy hitters here. Maverick side, definitely disappointment. This is what they train for all season, trying to win another national championship. But it's hard to go back to back. Absolutely, they say in sport, it's the hardest thing to do. And I don't think it's any easier in dodgeball than it is in any other major sport. No. 
So Mavericks will compete for the bronze medal later today. Uh, we don't know who that will be against. It is an exciting match on uh, court one right now. Looks like, looking at my phone, it might be seven to five elite over hardest foam with roughly two minutes left. So we are gonna recommend you to go check out the end of that game and also stay tuned. The women's semifinal games will be coming up shortly. One semifinal I know is Rogue against Rainbow Thunder, Manitoba v Manitoba, and in the other one, it Reckless is Reckless against Valkyrie. Ontario versus Ontario. So we will see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in with us. Um, enjoy the dodgeball. Thank you.